All right, good morning. We're here at the tent. This is where we are. I didn't show you it yesterday because it was real late. We got done at like, we got here at like midnight. And now it's like a surprise rain. It was supposed to be nice today by all accounts. And now it's not. So we gotta hurry up, pack it up, go into town today. And uh, it's getting worse and worse. So we gotta hurry up, pull this, uh, pull the steak out. Uh. Oh, this is a hard one. I'll do it later without the video. <laughs> So this is where we camped. Uh, we hung out with uh, Groundhog and Mortis the Tortoise last night. Uh, they, they paid for our meal. We, we happened to run into them at the restaurant. Um, we saw them on the trail and then um, they like Mortis the Tortoise paid for our meal. which was very kind and then invited us over to his hotel for a shower and then we hung out for a bit. Um, yeah, that was fun. And then we, we walked over here set up the tent. We're about like a half mile from from that restaurant. Alright, what up guys? It's been a zero day. Real zero! <laughs> Don't know what that was. <laughs> but we got this, but we got this two bags of garbage. We did our resupply. Um, we hung out. We had coffee here. This place is awesome. Hold on, let me get the name for you, because this is, if you come to Daleville, right next to the Outfitters, uh, let's see, the Outfitters is called Outdoor Trails, and right next to it is Verizon, and next to that is the Mill Mountain Coffee and Tea. I hope that caught the sign for you. But it's really good coffee. Like, I don't ever really like the coffee at a coffee shop. It's always like, okay, well, that was the same thing I make at home but this place does their own roast and it was like I had two different kinds of coffee and it was good it was really good like I could taste it it had more flavor in it it didn't just taste like dark water it tasted like freaking coffee so that was awesome but here this is just we've literally been sitting at this outdoor coffee area for a while mostly because I need Wi-Fi I haven't had it for three weeks. Not good enough Wi-Fi to upload any videos. So I've been sitting here and leaving my phone here while I walk around so that the videos can get uploaded. And then my dad, excellent video editor, can put together some things and get them up there. So, so yeah, that's happening finally. But this is where I've been hanging out, where we've been hanging out. Um, the main road is right there. I think it's U.S. 202. Um, took a nap in the grass. Dried my tent from a little bit of rain this morning. There's a Kroger's grocery store just down there. Had some nice hummus and broccoli and organic baby carrots of four different colors. So, I mean, that's been all good. Went to the Outfitters and it's, it's a great, knowledgeable, awesome, helpful guy there. But sadly, he didn't have anything that I wanted. Like, there was a few things that I was looking for. He didn't have any of it. So I really wanted to support him. I wanted to buy something from him, but he just didn't have what I needed. So that was unfortunate. But he's really, he's wants to help. He's got knowledge. He's, he's, a, he's not a sales rep. He's a thinking person who tells you, you know, his personal ideas of, of hiking and stuff. And I like that. Like, uh, for an example, he was talking about um, pack sizes and weight limits. And the typical thing is half of the liter is. So if you have a 60 liter pack, Typical, like, a good weight for the support or the suspension system in it is going to be half. So 60 liters, 30 pound, kind of like try to keep it there. You can go a little above it, try to keep it at half or under, and you'll be really good. Um, but he was talking about how a few, I can't remember which pack varieties, but they have like a 40, 50, and 60 liter pack, but they're all using the 40 liter frame. So you go up to 50 and the frame isn't supporting any more weight than the 40 and you go up to 60 liters and the pack, the frame isn't supporting any more weight than the 40. So he doesn't carry those uh, 50 and 60 liters, he'll carry the 41 because that's what the design is for. 
but he doesn't want to give people a bag that they're going to overpack and hurt themselves or just, you know, break the bag with. So that kind of store owner is just, I mean, that's awesome. He's, he's, he's knowledgeable and he's looking out for the customer. So anyway, I've had a good, like, yeah, I've enjoyed my time here today. Went to a Goodwill store and um, got some free socks and yeah, I got, um, oh, Indy found me these flip-flops. At the Good Wars store, 50 cents. So that was really cool. Thanks, Indy. <laughs> All right, what up, people? All those little shiny bits are my tent. All the reflective stuff on my tent. And there's a moth. And there's Indy. Ooh. Um, but yeah, we're stealth camping. So right over there, maybe you can see some trees. You can see this tall grass. And beyond it, in the darkness... Oh, uh, is it bright enough? It's not bright enough. There's trees back there. I don't think you can see them. But in the darkness, there is trees. Um, and just below that is a hill. Just beyond it is a hill. It goes down. And when you go down, that is the um, Kroger and the cafe and the outdoor shop. So we're stealth camping. And so we just hiked up. Behind uh, the Goodwill, we hiked up, and we just um, decided uh, we'll hike up there. We'll see if there's a flat spot, and then we'll set up our tents. Because uh, actually, Indy left her power bank and charger at the Outfitters. Because they have a nice little charge area. You can charge your stuff there. Um, but they closed <laughs> before she got her stuff. So now we got to wait until 10 a.m. when they open up again. And uh, in the morning. So we're camping nearby the shopping center. Um, so yeah, that means I get to get a cup of coffee. Maybe I'll get some hush puppies from the Three Little Pig barbecue restaurant before we head off. That sounds like a nice breakfast. Hush puppies and coffee. Very healthy. <laughs>